In this video, I have prepared some must-have new Skyrim mods that will improve your performance or catch your attention. I have brought some quite interesting ones, so you can look forward to them. I will start by introducing gameplay-related mods, and the first one is Lightened Skyrim Base Object Swapper Mod. This mod replaces Skyrim's objects with ones that have fewer polygons, reducing loading time and increasing FPS. For example, this mod replaces grass, trees, rocks, books, food, weapons, armor, and other objects with lower polygon and texture versions. It uses only base object swapper without any ESP, which means it is very safe and does not affect the visuals much. This is an amazing mod that allows you to secure frames without any risk of mod conflicts. So I wanted to introduce it to you first. Next up is Vibrant Weapons Enchantment Art Extender. This mod is a rework of the Vibrant Weapons mod, which enhances the enchantment effects of fire, frost, and shock based on the Enchantment Art Extender framework. Therefore, this mod adds particle-based visual effects to the vanilla fire, frost, and shock weapon enchantments. The creator says that this mod can potentially avoid some instability issues related to script lag compared to vibrant weapons, fire frost shock, and plans to switch to this framework if they are confident about the enchantment art extender. So I recommend you to check it out. Next up is Skyrim Fairies. This mod adds active fairies that cross rivers, lakes, and seas in Skyrim and Solstheim for smooth and small-scale transportation. You can use the fairies to travel quickly and conveniently to various places such as the Northern Coast, Solstheim, Lake Illinalta, Lake Honrish, and more. To move, you just need to press the active button on the ferry. You can check the exact locations and routes of the fairies on the Tiznexus website's pictures of this mod. If you prefer taking the ferry over swimming, then I recommend this mod. Next up is Siblings of Sails. This quest mod offers you a quest based on NPCs who wear the Dragonwood Pugilist outfit. First, let's talk about the outfit. It is a red Chinese dress that consists of shorts and pants versions of the outfit and shoes. It also includes a one-handed sword weapon, it supports various body types and has SMP physics effects. And when you reach level 20, you can start the quest from the NPCs wearing this outfit at the Solitude Docks. The story is about helping merchants from the Eastern continent. The quest has three parts and about thousand lines of dialogue. The mode author was Skeever collaborated with the outfit author Kriste to connect the outfit and the quest. A similar quest mod is Baba Yaga and the Labyrinth, which has received good reviews from users. If you enjoyed playing Baba Yaga and the Labyrinth, you might also like this mod. I introduced this mod because I thought it would be fun, so please try it if you are interested. In this corner, I will introduce you to some hidden gem mods related to Skyrim. First, I want to talk about all-in-one FPS fix. This mod removes the LODs of Riften, Whiterun, and Solitude, three cities in Skyrim, and greatly improves the FPS in the city. In fact, the LODs in the town have a huge size, and loading them lowers the computer's frame rate, which is a major cause of frame drops in the city. Recently, with the emergence of mods like Whiterun Has Walls, the walls in the city have been raised. So there are not many cases where you can look at the outside scenery of the city. Therefore, you may doubt whether these LODs need to exist while lowering your frame rate. If your computer specifications are excellent and you can maintain 60 frames even if you add mods to the city, you may not need this mod. But if not, this mod will be very helpful. I was able to experience Skyrim with a much smoother and higher frame rate in the city and I no longer experienced the frame drop phenomenon when looking at a specific section in Riften. Next up is Simple Overwhelming Slaying Cinematic Kills. This mod toggles the HUD and adds slow time when you kill an enemy, showing you a cinematic kill. This mod offers slow motion, extra physics effects, screen effects, camera changes, HUD toggle, and more. You can fully customize it through MCM, and it has ESL flag so it doesn't take up a plug-in slot. 
Try this mod to upgrade your Skyrim combat experience. Next up is Poison, a Poise add-on. This mod reworks and upgrades the Poise Stagger Overhaul. The original Poise calculates the stagger value based on the armor and weight you equip, but this makes it too easy to defeat enemies with level scaling when they wear light or medium armor for no reason and get staggered by normal attacks. However, this mod improves the balance by adding various factors to the stagger value calculation, such as increasing the maximum stagger value as the level increases, affecting the attack resistance, and considering not only the weight of the weapon, but also the damage value. This is a hidden gem mod that I recommend to you as it expands the functionality of yours. Next up is Detailed Landscapes Mushroom Trees in Morthal Swamp. This mod adds mushroom trees to the Morthal Swamp area in Skyrim. It uses a tool called Base Object Swapper to replace driftwood with mushroom trees, which blend very well with the scenery of Morthal. The mod also adds some small spore mushrooms and plants that remind me of the Shivering Isles, enhancing the atmosphere of the swamp area. In my case, I used Mania Mushroom Retextured mod to make the mushrooms more brown, so they would fit better with the mood of Morthal. If you like it too, you should give it a try. Next up is Mists of Tamriel. This is a mod that adds various fog effects to Skyrim. You can turn the fog effects on and off through MCM and choose from three levels of fog density. It also adds moving fog and morning fog in the distance. I added this mod to create a more natural and realistic scenery with fog. Now, even if I turn off the distant Doff shader, I can still have a natural looking horizon, which I really liked. You can increase the amount of fog through MCM, but I used the default value and applied the partially generated fog to my Skyrim. Try adding some natural fog to your Skyrim too. Next up is Shiva's Vanilla Clothing Replacer. This mod replaces Skyrim's vanilla outfits with the ones from Apache's Divine Elegance Store mod. Apache's Divine Elegance Store mod adds a shop that sells nearly 1,000 different and elegant outfits in Skyrim. You need Apache's Divine Elegance Store mod to use this mod, and you can also install optional files for compatibility with other outfit mods. This mod offers a great variety of outfits, from pretty dresses to medieval-style clothes, that upgrade the appearance of Skyrim NPCs. You can improve your Skyrim NPC's outfits with this mod. That's all for the showcase video of the must-have Skyrim mods. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like, and turn on the notifications. Then I'll see you in the next video. Have fun with Skyrim.